All right, this is Derek with 100 Interviews. We are here with my favorite ice cream, <laughs> pistachio. How are you doing, Laura? That's good. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> um, how's your, I'm feeling uh, cold all of a sudden. Awesome. How is your uh, South Vibe going so far? Oh, I'm having a great time. I think the difference, last year I was just on overload the whole time, and this year I'm, I'm kind of surfing. I'm like, hey, there'll be big waves. They're going to they're gonna hit me in the head, and it's going to be too much all at once, so I'm going to laugh and climb up. So this is your second South Vibe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what have you seen here that might have kind of wowed you so far? Uh, you know, honestly, the best part was Merlin Man is even funnier in person. Oh, wow. I, I'm a fan of his videos. I'm a fan of his tweets. He, but he's funnier in real life? He's so freaking funny. That guy is hilarious. That's awesome. i got to get him on here. Yeah, um, yeah. That would be awesome. Oh, my God. He'd have all kinds of wise So what, what is Laura up to nowadays? I am uh, in wide open stealth on my startup, 140. Spelled out O N E F O R T Y. Right. Give us, give, give us some insight into that. I can't. Oh. <laughs> it's obviously Twitter related. Uh, okay, I just would, give us the. I would uh, say it's fair to call it a Twitter revenue play. Okay. And. Uh, so you're you going to make money on on Twitter before other people do? Uh, no, I want everybody to make money. On okay. <laughs> God, that sounds so horrible. It sounds like I'm going to bring spam to Twitter. Oh. Oh my God, Laura uh, spams the world. Yeah. No. No. I just. I want to put tools out there. I mean, the, the recession is so tough, right? right? And I want to put tools out there that people can use to build a business. So it's a platform. It's, God, I can't be too specific. Okay. Just check it out. We hope to have the beta up soon-ish. How soon? Can you give us kind of a... I have no idea. Okay. It could be... Second quarter, could third be, quarter? Yeah, <laughs> right. It could Sometime be, in 2009? It could we be go? two to five weeks. It could be two to five months. <laughs> okay. As long as it's not two to five years. Oh, God, no. Okay. No. It, okay. We'll all be on so sometime know, in Twitter by then. So sometime in 2000... So it's <laughs> So sometime in 2009, we yes. will see you, something. Yes, you can sign up right now at 140.com to be told more when we're telling I'm more. going there right after this interview. <laughs> um, so the reason that we came up with 100 Interviews is we really wanted to get some insight into, you know, the, the mover and shakers, the people that are really followed by a lot of people. And I know you hate that, but, you know, you're, you're a very down-to-earth kind of person. I think you should do 140 person. interviews. Okay. Well, our new tagline is um, 100, 100 interviews because 101 was one too many. I know. Might have been the one with the well, I already have him, and you he's never a, know. I already have him, and he's a friend of mine, so he understands. Yeah. Um, so we really wanted to get some insight in what Laura is doing with social media in your regular life. You know, <laughs> I don't have a regular life okay. anymore. <laughs> How are you using it to stay connected with friends, with family, oh. and then also to promote yep. your new business? Yeah. Well, of course, I'm I'm very Twitter centric. Um, I do have a couple friends on Facebook who aren't on Twitter, and so I find myself using Facebook more often because what I do in, in all realms of social media, blogs, Twitter, Facebook, is I really drop in to see how my friends are doing. Okay. I mean, that's my biggest social use of it. Although, obviously, here at South By, it's great. It's, I was saying to everybody last night, it's the Marauder's Map. You know, in Harry Potter, where you look on the map and it shows you where <laughs> your friends are. And everyone starts showing up. That's right, awesome. Right, You see their little, that is their little happen. flashing lights moving around. I think I, I heard the I heard Foursquare yet, but I hear that. Yeah, Foursquare four is rocks awesome. For that. It is awesome. If you have not tried Foursquare and it's not in your city yet, no. yell at them. Well, no, it might be in my city. I just haven't. It is in yet. Boston. It is in there. So, um, so um, last thing we wanted to kind of finalize this interview with was if you have some maybe funny stories that you might be able to share with us. God, funny stories. Yes. Um, I know you've had an exposure to a lot of different people, a lot of different personalities. So. Yeah, that's the thing. All my stories are like overwhelming, overwhelming gratitude. Um, I'm trying to think of one that's like specifically funny, a funny thing that happened. Well, if you don't have a funny story, what? Well, no, I, I got a funny DM I got this morning from okay. a friend. This tells you a lot about South By. And I think she was kidding, but it was 11 o'clock in the morning, and she's like, having a great time. When I sober up, I'm going to get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is something. That's someone fun. that had a really good time last night. Although I honestly, I'm so focused. I'm really working hard this conference. Last year it was kind of like geek spring break. This year I'm working really hard, and I think I had one glass of champagne last night and went to bed at twelve. Yeah, and I was so shocked to see you because I was so disappointed. I I hit you up for an interview before we came, and you said you weren't coming. Because I wasn't coming. coming. Because for Pistachio Consulting, Pistachio Consulting works with mainstream companies who are trying to understand the business opportunity of Twitter. And South by Southwest is not a huge forum for mainstream companies exactly. who don't get South social media so for you know one of the things about social media that people need to remember is being very if you're going to use it for business don't just generalize and say oh popular is good a lot of readers is good a lot of followers exactly. is good you have to have some focus so there's no audience for pistachio consulting here except for getting to know other people who are you know already on twitter and talking, who already use it pretty well 
For 140, though, there's strong business reasons to be here. Okay. We're looking for angels. We're talking to you know developers. We're talking to the Twitter community. So you're you're turning it up a notch. You're turning up the heat a little bit to the next level. Well, you know, there's something to do here at South by for 140. Okay. So. Well, since we did talk about that, we you brought up Foursquare. Um, maybe I'll ask you one more question. Okay. Um, you know, we have seen over the last five, six years, social media has really kind of, I guess, gone mainstream. What do you think is the next kind of step, you know, the evolution of social media over the next maybe two, three years? I think everybody will have a Twitter account. Even my mom? Or a micro-sharing ID. <laughs> I call it a micro-sharing ID because I think, I still think there's a chance it'll federate and kind of genericize and we'll, you know, like email in the beginning, you, you were all on the same, like MSN emailed MSN and AOL emailed them, AOL and Prodigy emailed Prodigy. It wasn't interoperable at all. Right. Um, and I think micro-sharing ecosystems and networks will come up and become more interoperable, but I really see, I've been telling people five years from, like, I probably started saying this, you know, I don't know, 2007, so four and a half years, three and a half years from now, uh, everybody will have an email address, a telephone, and a micro-sharing ID at their desk at work, and that'll be a fundamental part of how they interact with the world and operate. I, I really can't see it going any other way. So we're going to go away from the 200,000 followers for Britney Spears, and we're going to go down to the her micro-communities. Well, followers won't mean, I mean, the follower number thing, first of all, people should know, there's like dozens and dozens of people who cheated their way to 45,000, exactly. 45, so don't look at someone like, oh, a lot of followers, they must be valid. Like, well, Guy at, Kawasaki wishes he would, he would be on the front page of Twitter so he could get yeah. that many. Yeah, and Jason Gagas is like, you know, put me on the preferred user list, I'll pay you 125,000, I'll pay you 250,000. Like, one thing about, like, blogging, People develop their audiences, but it's not right there front and center when you arrive. So that's a weird thing about Twitter that's so front and center. Here's how many readers I have. You know? <laughs> that's it. Uh, yeah. So I, I think that'll be less important and more just like, these are humans. I'm connected to them. I throw messages into the cloud. I get information out of the cloud. That's awesome. Very free for Well, thank you so much, Laura. We love having you. Thank um, you, Derek. It was an honor. I hope you enjoy the rest of your South By and uh, have more than a glass of champagne tonight, okay? I enjoy everything. All right. Thank you so much.